Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial, designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 interior. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 005 underscore DIAB where you save it, or go and download this file on the website. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as button. Save this file as Change the file of type to earlier version of AutoCAD if you plan to open this file into any system that don't have the latest version of AutoCAD or you can leave it as the recent version. Now rename this file to 00 underscore 006 DIAB and click the save button to save the, the drawing to end. Now select the rectangle, one of the rectangles that you create in the previous exercise right click in the drawing area in the pop-up window that appear select select similar when you do autocad select all the rectangle in this drawing now go to the home tab modify panel and click the exclude command autocad exclude all your rectangle into single entity as you can see the rectangles are no longer rectangle press escape to get out of the command now go to the home tab Modify panel and select the offset. At the prompt, specify offset distance type 6 inches on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and offset it up. Select this line, offset it on the left. Select this line and offset it up. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. At the prompt, select first object, type R to check the radius and press enter. Let's accept the default radius which is 0 feet 0 inches. This can allow us to fill the line end to end. Press enter to accept this distance. Type M on your keyboard and press enter or select the multiple option on the status bar. Now select this line and this line. AutoCAD fillet the two line end to end and still we are in the fillet command because we use the multiple option. Select this line, this line, this line, this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Select the offset command again. At the prompt specifying offset distance through erase layer, AutoCAD already remember the previous offset distance that we used. Since we need the same distance, go ahead and press enter. But if yours is different, go and type 6 inches on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and offset it to the right. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the status bar and select the fillet command. AutoCAD still remember the previous radius that we used. So all you need to do type M on your keyboard and press enter for the multiple option. Select this line, fillet it to this line this line to this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command in autocad when you are in command and go and select another command autocad start the new cancel the previous command and start a new command as you can see i'm in the fillet command if i select the offset command autocad cancel the fillet command and start the end the fillet command and start the offset command for the offset distance Type 6 inches on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and offset it down. Press escape to get out of the command. Now select the fillet command. Fillet this line to this line. Start the fillet command again. Fillet this line to this line. Select this line and press delete on your keyboard. Go to the navigation bar and click the zoom extent button. Zoom out a little bit so that you can see your entire drawing. Now, go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. Use the midpoint, zoom in into this area. Use the midpoint and place a temporal point from this place. Now move your mouse cursor and click. Use the perpendicular object snap to snap to the perpendicular of the line. Press escape. Zoom out and 
zoom in into this area. Go to the Home tab, Modify Panel and select the Offset command. For the offset distance, type 12 feet on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and offset it to the left. Select the line again, move to the left. Auto can still remember the previous 12 feet that you enter. Type 6 inches on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line, move down and type 6 feet on your keyboard and press enter. Select the line again, move down, type 6 inches on your keyboard and press enter. Go to the Home tab, Modify Panel and select the Fillet command. Type M on your keyboard and press Enter for the multiple option. Fillet this line to this line, this line to this line. Press Escape to get out of the corner. Now let's fill two more layers. Zoom, in, zoom out to see your entire drawing. We need to draw the kitchen and the stairs. So let's do two more layers. Go to the Home tab, Layer Panel and click the Layer Properties. This will bring the Layer Property Manager. Click the New button. Call this layer, rename this layer to Kitchen. Or 2D Kitchen. And change its color to something Let's select the index color 67 or you can choose whatever color you want to choose. Change the line width to 0 point, 0 0.3. Click the new layer button again and name this layer as tiers. Change its color to the index color 21, or you can assign whatever color that you want. Close the layer properties manager. Now, go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the offset command. For the offset distance, type 2 feet or 24 inches on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and offset it up. Select this line and offset it to the right. Select this line, offset it to the left. Select this line and offset it down. Press escape to get out of the command. Zoom into, into this area. Select the four lines that you just draw and select and move them to the kitchen layer. Press escape to get out of the command. Because of the black background, the color of the layer is not display well. So you can give it a brighter color when you want to plot your drawing. You can give whatever color that you want, but to fast track, I'm going to change the color of the kitchen there to a brighter color. I'm going to give it this, the index color 90 for the moment. As you can see, my line is now brightly displayed on, on the drawing, on the kitchen area. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. For the offset distance, type 4 feet on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and offset it to the left. Press escape. Select the offset command again. Press enter to accept the previous 4 feet distance. Select this line and offset it down. Press escape. Now go to the Home tab, Modify Panel and select the Fillet command. Type M or select multiple on the status bar. Fillet this line, this line, this line, this line. Press Escape to get out of the command. Select this line. Hover your mouse cursor into this clip and when it's turned red, click. Now drag the grip and use a perpendicular object snap to snap into this line. Use the same method to move this end point and snap it into this line. Press escape to get out of the panel. Now go to the home tab. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the and select the fillet command. 
Type R for the radius option and press enter. This time, let's give it a radius distance of 6 inches. Press enter. Select this line and this line. As you can see, because we give a distance, AutoCAD add, add an arc 6 inches from the two lines. Go to the home tab, layer panel, and select the make current button. Select the kitchen object and to make the kitchen to the kitchen layer as the current layer. Go to the home tab, draw panel, and select the line command. Start the line at this point and move your mouse cursor snap to the end point of this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and click the down arrow after the fillet command. And select the chamfer command. Type D and press enter for the distance option. Auto guard asks you for the distance. Type 6 inches. Press enter. It asks you for the second distance. Press enter to accept the first distance. Now select this line and this line. As you can see, because we don't select multiple options, Auto guard end the command at one operation. Press enter again to start the command and select this line and this line. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At the prompt, specify offset distance, type 4 feet and press enter. Select this line, offset it at the top. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the chamfer command. Select this line and this line. Now select these lines, this line, this line, and this arc. Move them into the kitchen, to the kitchen layer. Press escape to deselect the object. Zoom out and zoom in into this area, to the steer area. Now make the steer layer as the current layer. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the offset command. For the offset distance, type 40 inches on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line, offset it down, select this, offset it up. Press escape. Now start the line command. Start the line at this end point and move it into this end point. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, select the offset command. For the offset distance, type 9 inches on your keyboard and press enter. Offset this line, this I'm going to press escape and copy the rest of the line. Now select this all these lines. Go to the home tab modify panel and select the copy command. Use this as the endpoint. As you can see. I don't select this last line because I want to use it as a as the base point of the copy. Click here and move your mouse cursor and click into the last line. Press escape. If I will select the first line, when I paste the object into the new location, there will be two lines where I paste the object. Now select these two lines, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the new command. At the specifying first point of mirror line, click at this end point. At, this, at the prompt specifying second point of mirror line, move in the vertical direction. The distance doesn't matter in this case. What matters the orientation? Click. AutoCAD asks you if you want to erase the source object. Yes, no. Select accept the no option, which is the default, because we want to retain the original and the copy object. Press enter. Now select this object, this one, and use the go to the home tab, modify panel, select the mirror command. At the specified first point of mirror line, use the midpoint object snap and snap to the midpoint of this line. At the specifying second point of mirror line, you can move left or right. The distance and the direction isn't important in this case. What's important is the angle. The angle must be in a straight line. For example, if I deactivate the auto mode, 
and move in an angle other than zero or 180 degree this will be the result if i click as you can see in the preview i'm going to activate the auto mode again and move either to the right or to the left and click autocad asks if i want to erase the source object no i don't want to erase them now we go to the big access toolbar and click the match property if this command is not in your quick access toolbar click the down arrow this down arrow and please a check mark to match property any command in this drop down menu has a check mark it display in the quick access toolbar the command that don't have a check mark for example like rendering don't display in the quick access toolbar now select the match property at the prompt select source object select one of these objects these are the source objects at the prompt select destination object let's select this this when you use command autocad take the properties of the source object and paint them to the destination object let's escape to get out of the corner now go to the quick go to the home tab modify panel and click the down arrow after the chamfer command and select the fillet command note any command in autocad has a down arrow after the command has more than one option for example now if you look at the modify panel the chamfer command is the current command because i last use the chamfer command but if you want to use any other command in this button click the down arrow and select either the fillet or the blend curve whatever the command that you want to use now select the fillet command and type m on your keyboard and press enter because in the pre now type m for the multiple option and press enter now select this line and this line as you can see because we use six inches radius from the previous option the fillet command still remember the previous distance that we use in this case we don't want a six inches distance so all you need to do move your mouse cursor if you have the mouse cursor you see the preview now move your mouse cursor and type r press enter now autocad can allow you to enter the, dis the new distance type zero on your keyboard and press r as you can see the preview now fillet the object the way we want it to be go ahead and click fillet this line to this line this line to this line press escape to get out of the command click the zoom extent button to see the entire drawing and zoom out a little bit all right in this tutorial we learn how to exclude a rectangle and grid some new layer offset we are going to continue this project in the next video if you find this tutorial useful please click the share button and share it to your friends if you have any comments or you have different technique how to complete the same task please leave a comment below if you want to continue on this series or you want any other tutorial on my channel please click the subscribe button thanks very much for watching goodbye i see you in the next class